Yo. One, two. Is it one? Yes. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Um, what day is it? It's Friday. Hope you're all well. Um, so I did a little test yesterday just to see and get a reaction from you guys about if you wanted me to do stuff like this. And it was really nice. A couple of you got in touch about specific things, which is brilliant. So I'm going to try as much as I can to, um, yeah, bring you as much stuff as I possibly can. I'm going to keep going with the podcast as well. Um, we've got Jed Carzo coming up later today, who is the brother of Justin Carzo, who's done a lot, pretty much all of his films, um, Assassin's Creed, Macbeth, and the um, new George Mackay film as well, which is awesome. He also did Slow West, which is one of my favourite films of the last 10 years, uh, John McLean's film. So there's my first recommendation of the day, if you haven't seen it. It's a fantastic kind of Western um, by John McLean stars, um, who's in it at the Bender, Ben Mendelsohn, many other people, but it's called Slow West and it's very, very good and a great score by Jed Curzel. So um, we're going to keep the podcast going as much as we possibly can. Um, Warren Ellis uh, has said he'll do it. I think we're hopefully going to do that on Monday. So um, he has written a score for a, a new film, the tra this documentary called The Train I Ride, which is this brilliant look at um, all this kind of, these, these kind of people who kind of like vagabonds really but kind of really um basically traveling to find their place in the world um and these extraordinary characters that have been discovered along the way and warren has done the score for it and of course warren and and work with nick cave a lot on some phenomenal scores over the years so really really looking forward to chatting to warren um on monday for the podcast for next week uh, and a few other people who've said they're going to do it and we'll try and slot in times to record them remotely as riz ahmed and also as Waller wallabridge so really look forward to catching up with those people over the next couple of weeks and a few others as well um and then i thought about sort of recommending a few things for you guys to watch that are available on various streaming services i mentioned Curzon yesterday there's a load of great stuff up there um uh, one of the things that i was uh, reminded of yesterday is a great film called monos uh which is this south american film and the score is done by uh, mika levy and it's a pretty brutal film but it's extraordinary so if you're feeling slightly tender it might not be the best thing to watch but i think that it's just a very powerful and very brilliant film. So this is a really good recommendation that I would give you today. Um, now, what date is it today? Twentieth. So with all this coronavirus stuff going on, um, I've got there's there's kind of no. I'm not going anywhere. I can't go anywhere, as as most of us can. So it's just trying to make the best of the situation that we're all in. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this, um, and also to stop me going something mad. Being able to talk to people about film and music and things like that. I was supposed to be going to New York in four days time to interview Sofia Coppola for the BBC4 show that I've been involved in called Life Cinematic with Robbie Collin. So Robbie and I kind of divvy up the interviews. He's done Edgar Wright so far. I did um, Sam Mendes and Sam Taylor Johnson. And then Sofia was supposed to be one of our new episodes, but unfortunately because of the coronavirus, it's been postponed, not canceled, but postponed. So hopefully we will get that done at some point over the next couple of months. Fingers crossed. Um, so, yeah, so what I was doing was diving into all of Sophia's previous films, be it um, Lost in Translation, uh, Virgin Suicides, Marie Antoinette, um, Bling Ring. And, but also what I was waiting for was her films that she was going to talk about. It's fascinating to see what she was going to choose. Um, so in the meantime, you can check out Sam, Sam, and Edgar on the iPlayer, Life Cinematic. Um, it's the most brilliant show and I'm so proud to be part of it. It's a proper dream job for me as well. All these different kind of film creatives talking about the things that inspired them. Um, and I think one of the films uh, that stuck with me was a Claire Denis film that Sam Taylor Johnson um, picked, which has got the most amazing dance scene at the end of the film so um go and check it out check out the films and um yeah if nothing else it's a great way of uh, diving into some new films that you might not know about yet but yeah so that's that um some other films that i think are worth watching um over the next couple of weeks um are uh, fighting with my family which is a film that is written and directed by stephen merchant 
and it's got um, Lena Headey, Florence Pugh, Nick Frost and Jack Loudon in. And it's the true story of a family of wrestlers, um, brother and sister who are desperate to be, you know, WWE. Is that what it is, I think? But it's brilliant. It's so good. We watched it as a family. So it's a really light, funny film if you want to kind of get something for you all to sit down and watch. Um, I was also supposed to be doing a QA and a on Saturday night with um, Lips from Anvil and Sasha Gervaisi, who directed the fantastic documentary uh, Anvil, the story of Anvil. So I'm really hoping that we can, Sasha hopes that we can do that at a later date as well. And because the Anvil boys were doing a tour, some of you might have been going along to see them, but that's been put on hold as well. So in the meantime, check out Anvil, the story of Anvil, if you haven't already. It's proper like real life Spinal Tap. It's bonkers, but brilliant. Um, and then I'm not going to kind of overload you with stuff um, today, but I just wanted to give a couple of other really nice um, little things that might kind of just be nice for you to watch. Searching for Sugar Man is this absolutely beautiful, breathtaking music documentary about this artist who everybody thought had died. And um, when you watch the film, you become obsessed with his music. And the wonderful thing is then his music is around for you to listen to. So Searching for Sugar Man is a beautiful um, music documentary that you you should definitely watch if you haven't already. And then just surround yourself with his music afterwards because it will it will lighten your mood. And I know that we all need that at the minute as well. Um, and then one other thing, I've got a list here as well that I want to try and, um, oh God, what, two. Okay, I'm going to give you two more. Can You Ever Forgive Me? Uh, was a film that came out last year, year past last, 2018. Uh, and it stars Melissa McCarthy, Richard E. Grant and the fabulous Dolly Wells. And it's directed by Maria Heller. She just most recently did the Tom Hanks film about um, Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood. But Can You Ever Forgive Me is the true story of this female writer who uh, forges all these um, pieces of literature and it's brilliant. Richard E. Grant is phenomenal and quite rightly so. He was nominated for every award under the sun and picked up quite a few awards along the way. Um, so Can You Ever Forgive Me is a great film. And then the other one that's maybe slipped under the radar is a film called Gloria Bell. And there aren't enough films that kind of focus on women of a certain age. And so it's about this uh, character played by Julianne Moore, who I think she's just in her 50s, early 50s. She is divorced and she kind of, you know, she wants to have a good time. She wants to, she loves dancing. So there's a great soundtrack in this film as well. And she's kind of navigating kind of who she is and where she is and how to find love and all this kind of thing. And it was this little film that I kind of came across and I was like, why are, why are more people not talking about this? Um, so go and seek it out. So there's my recommend recommendations for today. Uh, Gloria Bell, Searching for Sugar Man, um, Fighting with My Family, Anvil, The Story of Anvil, Monos, and um, yeah, Slow West. I think that's enough for today, don't you? Um, but it would be great to get your comments so um please leave any comments under this for today and i'll get back to those comments for tomorrow as well so yeah i think that's enough for today um be safe look after yourself take heed of the words of nick frost and simon Pegg, and you know protect others by just staying in and avoiding contact with other people my kids have got their last day at school today so i'm going to go and pick them up this afternoon and then yeah we're just hunkering down i'm going to go to the garden center loads of stuff to plant so we can just kind of get cracking with homeschooling and so uh, I'm going to try my best to keep this a regular thing every day um, but in the meantime stay safe look after yourself and keep in touch guys and yeah wish you all the best take care see you tomorrow